Hey, Brian from Lantoria here. Today we're having a look at Sandstone Park, Carnarvon Gorge. Okay, when you rock up, you go up the road to the reception area and check in and there's a really lovely lady there usually and just do your signings. I don't think you have to book, but um, we did. And after you sign in, you just go and hunt down a spot. Situated on over 50 acres and it's just 360 degree view situated on the ridge tops wherever you look it's absolutely amazing it's actually on a 43,000 acre organic cattle station and it's only about five minutes drive from Carnarvon Gorge National Park where you go for the beautiful walks through the gorge so it's nice and handy nice and close sealed road all the way to the campground and to the gorge and this is stage one that they got going at the moment and these people are going into tourism and they're doing a cracker job so it's great to support them they are opening up stage two but at the moment it's suitable only for self-sufficient campers uh, any types of rigs man you can you can fit anything from tents to buses here it's absolutely crazy you can see how vast it is up top very dry they hadn't had rain here for quite some time, of course, but as you can see over in the distance there, it does come, usually at the most inopportune time. All the sites are around about 700 square meters in size. Man, that is massive. You can have like four or five total setups on the one site. It's crazy, I've never seen sites so big. There's no water, no power, but it does have spotless portaloos and a dump point if you need that sort of stuff. It's even pet friendly with kennels to hire for when you visit the national park. They look after your dogs and stuff for you. It's amazing, it's really good, it's well thought out. Lots of rubbish bins so you don't have to take your rubbish out. Every site has fire pits and you can collect your firewood on site because it's not a national park. Now see these star pickets that are in here, that defines a site. So in between those star pickets is an actual site and they go right to basically the cliff on either side. So they're, they're huge, there's no reason to sit on anybody else, it's just so huge. And how good is the view? The costs are kept low. At this point, they were $23 per night for two people. Advertising is done via social media and word of mouth. This way they can keep the prices down. It's closed in summer because it's just too bloody hot. And this that you're seeing guys is just the top bit. There's another bit where you drive in. That's where we ended up camping. And we're heading down to the bottom bit now. Now just on the left, as we round this corner, there's a guy, Milton, he's a local indigenous. He's, he's hooked in with this uh, sandstone park. 
and just on the left there, he there is like a borer ring. And every afternoon, I think it's around about four o'clock, you drag your chair up in a beer and sit down and he gives a presentation called Welcome to Country. And it is absolutely amazing. It shows you, he tells you all about what the land means to his people, gives you a greater understanding of the area. So as when you go through the gorge, you just look at it differently. That dry bit that I was talking about before, yeah. <laughs> after driving all day, I think it took us nine and a half hours from the Sunshine Coast and we took a we took a shortcut through a mining area and that knocked two hours off, which according to Google Maps, and it was bloody hot. It was like 37 the whole way. And then when we got out here, we saw it brewing on the horizon and we ended up um, bringing with us the first bit of rain these guys have had for a long time and you can see how dry everything is. Actually we were amazed that they were allowed fires here because you look at some of that grassland and you go wow this this place is going to go up like a tinder box but it, but it never did and um, yeah it was crazy. As you can see, just heaps of room around you. No need to park on top of each other and annoy everyone. It's, it's just brilliant. And waking up to these views is just something else. And of course, just before halfway through setup, it, um, we bring on the first bit of rain, which is really cool. In the mornings all the kangaroos come out of those grasslands and you find them feeding around your area, it's really beautiful. It is dog friendly, but we did see um, dogs chasing the kangaroos and stuff, which we thought, well, you know, leash them guys. And these sunsets, uh, sunrises, sorry, oh, absolutely beautiful. This is how you wake up every morning. Beautiful part of the world.